These tiny mice have adapted to thrive in very different environments. So let's look at some of the key differences. The native hopping mouse is a small rodent found in the arid regions of Australia, in sand, soil and spinifex grasslands. Hopping mice are often found in sandy burrows, where it has adapted to extremely hot, dry conditions. The house mouse is a small rodent found all over the world, including in human homes, farms and cities. Fancy mice, like the mice I have, are a domesticated form of house mouse, which is why they come in a variety of colours and fur types, rather than the traditional brown, grey, dusty, sandy colour. Native hopping mice are larger in size than house mice, with an average length of 10 to 14 centimetres, compared to a house mouse's 7 to 10 centimetres length. Native hopping mice have a tail that is much longer than its body and a bushy tuft at the end of its tail. Its long tail helps it balance while jumping and interestingly also serves as a storage resource, helping it to survive in harsh environments when food is scarce. House mice have a tail that is roughly the same length as their body. The native hopping mouse has large ears, like a bunny, and eyes which are adapted for its nocturnal lifestyle, so they're really large and black. It's able to detect predators and source food in the complete dark, so if they're in the desert, they'll typically hide in their burrows until night, come out looking for food. The hopping mouse also has sharp claws which help it to dig burrows in soil and collect seeds. The house mouse has smaller ears and smaller black eyes, but it's also incredibly good at digging burrows. The house mouse's small and generally slim size enables it to squeeze through tiny spaces and escape predators, whilst the native hopping mouse can jump in zigzags to escape their predators. Native hopping mice have long, powerful hind legs that enable it to hop like a tiny kangaroo. They can jump an impressive three meters high, whilst house mice have short legs and can run very fast. The native hopping mouse plays an important role in its ecosystem, dispersing seeds in its environment, whilst the house mouse, although often considered a pest, helps to control insect populations. House mice wee a lot. Native hopping mice have adapted to only produce solid waste, thus conserving their water storage. In extremely hot weather, they take most of their water from their food. House mice are notoriously known for being smelly because they frequently urinate, whereas native hopping mice, on the other hand, do not smell at all and that is due, again, to the fact that they have solid waste. Native hopping mice prefer to live in small groups and they produce very small litters. House mice prefer usually to live in big groups and they often breed large litters. So today's question for you is, what difference did you find the most interesting? Leave it in the comments down below.